is Julie Doherty, and I'm American Ballet Theater's physical therapist in New York. I've been working with ABT for 16 years, but before I started working at ABT, I had a lot of experience with treating other dancers. I started out um, studying dance and psychology in college for four years, and then I went on to get a master's degree in physical therapy, which is just an advanced degree in uh, physical therapy to allow me to be a physical therapist. In between those two degrees, I also taught dance and psychology and Pilates, which is an exercise technique that is very helpful for dancers, and we're going to talk more about that this week. After I graduated from physical therapy school, I wanted to get more experience with treating dancers, and so I did a mentorship at Harkness Center for Dance Injuries, and I also treated at ballet companies like Dance Theatre of Harlem and modern companies like Merce Cunningham, the Martha Graham Company, and Mark Morris. That time, that experience was invaluable to me. I learned so much about different dance uh, techniques and dance training, and that 14 years of education and training really prepared me for accepting a full-time job here at ABT. So part of my job at ABT is to help educate dancers on how to take care of themselves and to hopefully prevent injuries. And so what I want to do this week is talk to all of you about some of the ways that dancers support their training and their bodies besides just taking ballet class. Being a ballet dancer requires a lot more work than just ballet class and rehearsals. So let's all get up and move and try some of these exercises. Thanks and hope you have fun this week.